Hey, welcome to the VHF UHF channel and uh, just want to show you how you can uh, actually use one of these dongles for VHF UHF listening and make it super portable. Now I still have that little cheap antenna that comes with it but you can you know figure out how to maybe uh, build your own little antenna or um, you know I would see probably something like a uh, TV antenna um, that could be interesting as a antenna because the TV frequencies are pretty much wide range of the VHF UHF frequency ranges. So what I've done is I've taken this dongle and because it has a regular USB and this uses a uh, smaller USB plug I just added an adapter and basically you know, and this device, which is a touch device by the way, I've simply added all the software that I need. So I've got SDR Sharp here. I've installed the uh, driver. This is a Windows 10 tablet, by the way. If you're wondering if Windows 10 is compatible with these devices, it totally is and it works fine. So basically, I have just have to plug in the dongle with the adapter that I have right here in the uh, port. And you just heard Windows tell me that it's okay, that it's now working. And you could see it because you see the little light now bright and shining here. Um, the only drawback of using a tablet like this, this is an 8 inch, is that the software for SDR receivers in Windows aren't made for touch. And it is a little annoying, but as I'll show you, it does work quite well. So basically, you just load your SDR Sharp software and start listening to here it goes so this is a local two meter band amateur frequency by the way so this is you know really cool because you you can you know choose whatever it works exactly because this is a PC it works exactly as you know any SDR sharp. You can install HDSDR also, it will work. Uh, works fine. This is not a very powerful tablet, by the way, and it works very, very nicely. Uh, and I'm thinking of bringing this along as a uh, portable setup for when I actually will um, do some uh, listening next summer at the uh, Perry Island the expeditions. And I will, of course, bring a Soft 66 uh, for those that are on my Windows channel. Um, not the Windows channel, sorry, the, uh, the shortwave radio channel. You uh, know that I have a soft 66 that goes down with the up converter to the shortwave bands. Now, it is a little tricky, you know, you have to press and it's not always super cool in the response. Uh, you have to bring up the, the keyboard sometimes to enter frequency. So here if I go and check out the weather uh, for the local weather frequencies. So here, 55, here it goes. So this is local weather. And you got the peak, so you can, of course, go in here and, you know, click a peak and see what signal it is, if you're hearing anything. Precision is a little difficult, so zooming in will sometimes help you uh, choose a peak if you want. But once again, it's a little hard to, you know, really pinpoint. So if I want to try, for example, my local uh, frequency for the police, the provincial police around Montreal, can of course go here, try it out. So this is rather, here we go. So this is one, there's nothing yet. Of course you can slide, move around the different frequency ranges, see what we can hear, pinpoint a frequency and if possible but it is difficult I can tell you that because of the fact that it's not a touch device software um, maybe someday somebody will do an app in the Windows Store for SDR that would be cool but at least it works you know and that's the important thing and of course you can uh, pinpoint here I can say I'm gonna use the keyboard and in the keyboard use the numbers so I'm gonna you know if I pinpoint there I can enter a frequency, uh, 147120, enter. 
back on the repeater. So it works great. It's a very portable setup, as you see, uh, with the device, with the little antenna. And, you know, you can think of any type of antenna you might want to uh, choose and use for that. One important thing to know is that because the SDR drains from the device its power, remember that your tablet will not have as long as a battery as it should. Uh, typically this tablet is good for about four hours on its own. With this plug, I would say about two hours, two hours and a half because it draws a lot of power. So think of that uh, because it could be a problem if you are a long time gone for radio listening. So uh, hope you enjoy the videos. It's a cool way to have a portable setup here to listen to VHF UHF. Uh, give us thumbs up if you like the videos, please subscribe and thank you for watching.